What the passage portrays, and it's very difficult for many people to absorb this, it portrays fallen angels. These are not the good guys. Remember when Satan fell, a third of the angels fell with him. Not all of them, but a group of them, apparently, we'll talk more about this minute, chose to try to create a hybrid race by cohabit, by, by I don't know the technology. Uh, I, I'm not going to get into that. But they apparently, uh, uh, were, see, angels can't multiply. Angels are eternal. There's a reproduction is a process for mortals. But at the same time, Satan's got a problem. A third of the angels fell with him, so he's got a deficiency of two to one in the war that he comes right? He's got to find, find a way to strengthen himself. This may be, this is a good uh, conjecture that floats around. Now, the offspring are different. They're also called the Hagi Berim, the mighty ones. And uh, now, when the confusion starts to set in, is when this Hebrew passage was translated into the Greek in the Septuagint, the word they used for the Nephilim was gigantus. And the confusion, as we've been mentioning in this, going over this series, the confusion basically is when the white man, a European, first of all, tries to translate much of this ancient text and ignores you'll send the Afro-Shemitic and ignores the true people of the book, the true black people. And we've been going through this series for a while, basically clarifying that the sons of God that are mentioned are not the fallen angels, and they often confuse in their conjecture the sons of God with the Septuagint, angels of God, and, and Nephilim with, with uh, Gigantes or Gigantes, which is translated to mean giants, and then say, well, they're not really giants, but actually it's gigas, and that would mean earth-born, you know, from, from, from Gia and Gia, and you also have Gior, like George, also refers to, like, earth worker right there, so we can get into this speculation if we want to, but the basic point is that when it mentions the sons of God in Genesis chapter 6, it is referring to the descendants or the race of Adam, who is called and known as the Son of God. Now, when we look from old to new, or from new to old, we'll recognize that Christ is the second Adam. So there's a whole bunch of speculation and conjecture that's used, even you saw where where the guy in this, what is this?